right, next one is a nosebleed. This can happen if you have high blood pressure, but it can also happen if you're deficient in vitamin K1 because vitamin K1 is all about preventing bleeding. It helps you clot, but also the vitamin C deficiency can create a bleeding nose as well. All right, next one is chest pain or pain down the left arm or pain in the left shoulder that's related to the heart. This usually is a vitamin E deficiency. If you look at literally every single mountain peak where you have mountain climbers, you'll find empty bottles of vitamin E. The vitamin E deficiency will lower your oxygen carrying capacity, especially in the heart. Also, it allows you to breathe better in high altitudes. The best vitamin E to take if you have those symptoms would be something called tocotrienols. Number 14, those little raised little bumps in the back of your arms. This is a classic vitamin A deficiency called retinol. And you can only find that in animal products. It's in liver, it's in egg yolks, it's in cheese. But you're not gonna be able to correct this by eating more carrots or spinach with the so-called uh, vitamin A. Cod liver oil will give you vitamin A as well. 15, if you're deficient in sodium, you're gonna feel fatigued, you're gonna have insomnia, and you're also gonna have weak muscles. If you have any of those symptoms, just up your salt and it works like magic. 16, decrease libido is a classic zinc deficiency. I would recommend taking 50 milligrams, maybe a few times a day. And once your low libido is handled, then you can start reducing it from there.